Hello YouTube. How's everybody doing? Blue from Blue Outside here. In today's video we are going to, well, I'm going to try to freeze dry some Encore dinners. Uh, I think I've done like a pasta side that they make. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to try to do the Salisbury steak and the barbecued boneless ribs shaped patties. Hmm, rib shaped patties, that doesn't sound very appetizing. But anyways, so I'm going to see if I can freeze dry these and put them in uh, for long term long term food storage and then have them as a meal so I'll keep it all together inside the uh, mylar bag and not try to split it up. Okay, so obviously if you've ever had these They are not very quick to cook in the microwave. I think they're like 12 minutes, something like that. 55 minutes in the oven. Yeah, and like 24 minutes in the microwave. So I'm thinking, because they're pretty much already cooked, they say cook thoroughly, but I'm pretty sure they're already cooked. They don't look that appetizing. But we're going to try it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this under warm water to break it off of the uh, the tray that it comes on. Set it directly onto the freeze dryer tray. And then I'll weigh it. Uh, they're pre-frozen, so therefore I can have my freeze dryer pre-frozen. And we will go from there. Okay, stay with me. Okay, so what I discovered is there's no need to run them under water. They actually just literally pop out like ice cube trays. Now, we've been set out for a couple minutes as I set everything up too, so yeah, set them up for a little bit, it'll be good to go. So this is the barbecue sauce with six boneless shaped rib patties. This one weighs, the package says it weighs one pound 10 ounces or 26 ounces. This is one pound, 12 ounces. This is the Salisbury steak with gravy. I think these were 270 a piece. So what I'm expecting to happen is I'm going to let those freeze dry. And they're probably not gonna be done when I get to them. So I will have to break them apart and try to keep the patties intact. Okay, so let's grab our handy dandy scale here. Again, we're going to run grams. So, Ribs are 735 grams. So the math will be a lot easier on this. I will just subtract the difference from what it comes up here and be there. And that's how much water we'll add. Uh, 799 grams for the Salisbury steak. All right, well, the freeze dryer is cooling down. We will get these into the freeze dryer and I will bring you back when they're done. There is kind of a lot of wasted space on those trays. But that's okay because it's thick and that's what I'm going to run with. Stay with me. All right, everybody. So I'm going to show you something I do when I have like solid pieces of uh, product in the freeze dryer. Okay, so we are at. Let me zoom in here for you. So we're at 37 hours and 58 minutes. So roughly 38 minutes, or uh, 38 hours, sorry. So what I do is, as you see, I got the Encore Salisbury steak and the Encore ribs. So they came out in a solid block. Okay, so what we're gonna do is when we get down to, you know, it runs out of, it's run through its thing. 
gonna let the air out. I'm not gonna touch this screen up here at all for anything. Uh, so the freeze dryer says it's done. And I always say I'm the final judge. So it just let the air out slowly. The ring's getting smaller. So with clean, dry hands, we're going to pull it out and look at it. So what I want to do, there we go, we adjust it. So with clean, dry hands, what I want to do is just break it. Probably going to break that. Okay, so the patties are coming apart. Good, good. That's what I wanted. I wanted the patties to still stay. Because I'm going to put this all in one bag, so it's just going to be one meal. Okay, so there's the Salisbury steak. The ribs are stuck to the pan. All right, there we go. Ribs are still heavy. Yeah. So I'm just gonna break that right there. And then I'm going to put that back in. That wasn't even close to being done. See, the machine said it was done. Good thing I got it and didn't mess with any of my programming. That's another batch for another video. Okay, so close it, seal it back up. Close your drain valve. And we're going to add more dry time. So, as long as you don't get off this screen you can do that what I just did I do it all the time when I have something that's like uh, a giant solid piece of like soup or just anything that's really large okay so I'm gonna hit more dry time hit continue this is all the doors sealed the drain plug sealed compressors kicking on it's gonna get loud I apologize and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another Let's see what time is it? Let's just add 10 hours. Okay? Yeah, that'll work, whatever. Okay, so that's what I'll do. I'll come back when this is done and uh, check the ribs. The Salisbury steak was probably done, but being as I broke it apart like that, it opened up more surface area to suck moisture through. So there we go get that to drop and it'll do some more drying. I will bring you back when it's complete. Alright everybody, the Encore dinners are done. Got the Salisbury steak and the barbecue ribs. Uh, see, these were about 60 hours because of the ribs. Salisbury steaks were done at like maybe 50. So I had to go through and break the ribs because the tomato sauce was still sticky on the bottom or barbecue sauce. I checked the sugar content. There wasn't a whole lot of sugar in those. So the Salisbury steak is nice and soft. I want to be careful with it because I'm trying to keep them solid. So what I did is I just popped it out, obviously weighed it up as a solid piece. And then I'm going to zero out my scale. And then I'll take and whatever the difference is in grams convert it to ounces because most likely in a survival situation I'm going to have some way to do water in ounces so like measuring cups and stuff like that so the ribs okay they originally started at 709 nope 735 grams and they're now at 238 so it's roughly 495 grams difference so almost 500 grams of moisture content was taken out of those. The Salisbury steak was at 799 and they are at 188 grams which is 811 grams difference. So that's a lot. So I'll get these bagged up 
and put these in uh, two quart bags and then put the difference of weight on there so there we go so hopefully this gives somebody an idea and you can try this at home I've done the rice one before I know they have a turkey Manhattan went on to the store they didn't have that one right I snatched it up too they have a like a chicken cordon bleu or whatever I don't know if that would be any good but Salisbury steak turned out great I'm still not so sure about these I think these might be a shorter term food stores idea all right everybody hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and I'll see you next time